He was one of the most well-respected law enforcement officials in Colorado, and right now he sits in the jail that's named after him. Pat Sullivan is accused of trying to trade meth for sex. Sullivan had a very impressive career as the Arapahoe County Sheriff. His service was even singled out by President Bill Clinton. CBS4 investigator Brian Moss broke this story at 6 p.m. He's in with new information tonight. I think the most common reaction has been shock. This is a hard one to wrap your brain around, but this arrest had been several weeks mm -hmm. in the making since about November 17th. Informants had come forward telling law enforcement that one of their own had crossed the line. The 68-year-old Sullivan was a law enforcement icon. Now, though, he's a suspect in a tawdry criminal case. He uh, delivered or is alleged to have delivered uh, methamphetamine in anticipation of a sexual encounter with a male, an adult male acquaintance. Authorities arrested Sullivan at this Aurora home, where they say the former sheriff was caught with a small amount of meth. But Sullivan walked into a law enforcement sting, much like the ones he used to set up. In full SWAT gear. Full SWAT. Oh, yeah. Full SWAT gear. <laughs> yeah, and I mean the, the face covered up and, you know, mm -hmm. the camouflage green thing going on there, the yeah. big chopper guns and all that good stuff. That. Grayson Robinson, who succeeded Sullivan as Arapahoe County Sheriff, said more charges against well, Sullivan are anticipated. And authorities believe what happened here was part of a pattern of swapping drugs for male sex. We are speculating that that's the case. That this has happened before. Yes, and that's still part of our ongoing investigation. Pat Sullivan was held in high esteem in law enforcement circles during a 40-year career. 19 years as Arapahoe County Sheriff, named National Sheriff of the Year. He regularly testified before Congress. He won the Medal of Valor and was labeled a hero by one newspaper when he retired. Now he's being labeled a suspect. No one, absolutely no one, is above the law, and particularly a current or former peace officer. Pat Sullivan is being held on $250,000 bail tonight on a single felony drug count. He declined a request to be interviewed. At last word, he did a lengthy interview with Arapahoe County investigators. Sullivan is married and is a grandfather. We've been working on the story for several weeks, anticipate mm -hmm. having more information, new information, tomorrow. All right, Brian, thanks. Sullivan's family says they are still trying to learn all the facts. They heard about the bust shortly after it happened. CBS 4's Tom Mustin live tonight at the Patrick J. Sullivan Detention Center in Arapahoe County. You, Tom, you did talk to the family tonight. I did, Jim. There were a lot of tears in the family. They were shocked as well as neighbors shocked as well. And I can tell you right now, as the family tries to digest the charges against the sheriff, the sheriff himself is housed here in a facility that bears his name. We are in shock right now. Um, we're still trying to figure out what has happened to our family. Pam Sullivan reacted to the stunning allegations against her father, former Arapahoe County Sheriff Pat Sullivan. The sheriff is accused of drug trafficking and trying to trade meth for sex with a male acquaintance. Shock, saddened, and um, we're trying to understand what's happening, and we just really would appreciate it appreciate everyone understanding that we need some privacy and family time right now. Have you had a chance to talk to your dad? No. Honest to God, I didn't know when I pulled up here what had how, happened. How, how's your mom taking it? I'm not going to comment on that. Neighbors, too, were stunned. <laughs> I just put my head, head in my hands and uh, was in shock. Jay and Cheryl Osley have known the Sullivans for more than a decade. And, of course, their allegations, we don't believe it. We, we, I think the most of Pat and Linda, and uh, so we're in shock. We're just in total shock, and their allegations, and we've lived and been friends with them for 13 years, lived here 13 years, and we just can't believe it. And as the Sullivans prepare for a somber holiday, neighbor Pete Sherman spoke for the sheriff's family and friends. Like said, he's been a very good neighbor, been very nice, and would have never, ever guessed anything like that was going on. Now, the sheriff is facing felony drug charges, but as several neighbors wanted me to point out, he is innocent until proven guilty. Live at the Sullivan D Detention Facility in Arapahoe County, Tom Mustin, CBS4 News. Thank you, Tom. One of Sullivan's most heroic moments as a lawman came in 1989. A man went on a violent crime spree in his county, killing two people and injuring two deputies. Sheriff Sullivan loaded one of those deputies into his SUV, then crashed right through a fence to get that man to safety. A weapon of war used against two sheriff's deputies today. The suspect murder weapon and two murders earlier today. 
The gunman Eugene Thompson would later kill himself.